Rough game three for the New York Rangers after they fell seven to four to the Penguins in Pittsburgh. And now they trail their Eastern Conference playoff series with the Pens two games to one. So it's a critical game four coming up for the Blue Shirts. So you know what we got to do. We got to talk to New York Post Rangers beat writer Molly Walker, who joins me now from the Steel City. Molly, Igor Shesterkin, who's been all world for the Rangers. He gave up four goals in the first period of game three before he got pulled. Was pulling him the right move, and how concerned should Ranger fans be about his recent performance? I definitely think it was the right move. I think that Gallant has done that in the past to try and spark the rest of the lineup just because of how great Shesterkin has been for them this season. To let him, you know, get hang him out to dry like that, obviously the Rangers are going to wake up a little bit, and naturally it did work, and they were able to come all the way back, just fell a little bit short. I don't think that Rangers fans should be concerned at all with Shesterkin. I mean, you just look at what he's done in the regular season, and after almost every loss, he's been able to bounce back. So there's no concern. There's no concern from Gallant. There's no concern from the Rangers, and uh, he'll, he'll probably be able to put together a good performance in Game 4. We will see how he bounces back in Game 4. Now, Molly, you were at team availability following Game 3. There's a ton of pressure on this team in Game 4 where the Blue Shirts want to return home with the series tied to 2. So what's the mindset and the focus of this team right now? Well, a big part of it is continuing to contain Sidney Crosby and the rest of that top line. And I feel like they have progressively gotten better in this regard they have realized what they have to do they know what makes that line so lethal and i think they're just a little bit more aware of where those guys are on the ice when they are on the ice and i think that's a big part of it and the mindset is just not letting the lows get too low that was obviously a pretty emotional loss after making a, a storming back with such a comeback so they just can't let the low get too low, and that's something that they've preached for the entire postseason, and I think that's the, the key for them. So with that being said, quick prediction from you. Does New York get the job done in Game 4, or will the Pens prove to be too much? It's really hard to say. I will tell you, that building, PPG Paints Arena, is tough to play in. They really, really played a factor in Game 3, I would say. And I think it's, it's, it was a bit of a shock for some of the young players and, and a little bit of a, of a big stage reminder. So I think it's going to be really important for the Rangers to just ground themselves and get the job done. And if they can do that, then they will get the job done. We will see. Game 4, Monday night, puck drops in the Berg at 7 p.m. Eastern. That is New York Post Rangers beat writer Molly Walker. She'll be there. Molly, thanks for joining me. Thanks so much. Thank <laughs> you.